this is Full Game Prometheus, giving you another full game take. Rolling with the uh, run-heavy playbook on offense, multiple defense, uh, multiple D on defense. Uh, and I want to let you guys know that uh, I do take losses. Matter of fact, I went through a phase where I, I lost a few different games. Um, and I, I had games that were fairly close, games that were doing very well for me. Um, and I just uh, I just had a couple of games. So I want to show you, I posted a couple of different losses. Um, I Matter of fact, I've actually had some, taken some whoopings recently um, with some of, my, some of the opponents I'm playing against. And I just really couldn't get things going right here. You can see uh, fumble after I have a reception could have been potentially a first down. Uh, and this guy actually dots me up in the end zone. Nice read. I uh, hit the back corner uh, with one of the more common plays uh, in the game. Uh, so I was just struggling against this guy. Uh, basically, he just he was just having a uh, having a field day uh, against me. Uh, but I had some opportunities to go ahead and be fairly effective against this guy. Uh, but right here, this type of situation, my wide receiver should have been cleared out, and he actually picks me off, and that pretty much ended this game. Um, you know, it, it was in the, in the fourth quarter. He was able to go ahead and uh, hit me right over here. Actually, pick him off right here. I had myself a self an opportunity to stay in this game. Uh, down uh, basically 10 to nothing uh, but let's see what transpires right here let's see uh, right here I actually popped him uh, down the end zone uh, coming up to, to the side right here I'm using uh, this play which is kind of a deep sale this guy actually took away a lot of my reads so his defense was really good and you know, when you're t when you're taking losses like this it's not a good situation this is becoming one of my more favorite plays out of that tight end bunch set situation and right here I just threw the ball up and his defender actually comes down to it and just basically goes ahead and, and ties this game up, or actually tied this game up. So here's a second game I actually played uh, where uh, basically this guy just just picked me off right here. This is a play that I actually threw into my scheme, um, and you're supposed to be able to hit that seam with the running back and have the guy slide out, but he actually just perfectly timed it and picked the ball off. Right here, this guy was doing read options against me with uh, with Jackson. I think his, his name is Jackson, and uh, it, um, and he basically just got some, he gets an easy touchdown. Back in a fourth and uh, four type of situation, I go and dot him up um, on the sideline with Ridley, get it down uh, to the uh, 27 yard line, and just try to come back to uh, corners right here, hit him in the flat. <clears throat> nice little move right here to get the ball all the way down to the six yard line. And this is a play that I've actually been using a lot uh, in the red zone. Um, and uh, it's good because you can get, you know, obviously your number one receiver in the back of the end zone for, for a touchdown. So here's a third and 18 situation. Decided to go and man him up. And he takes off this quarterback and actually throws. I pull my defender out of position. And somehow this guy catches the ball inbounds. Comes back to the same play. I'm actually, I got QB contains against him. And um, the contain, contain comes in into the blocker, doesn't go to the outside, and he's able to go ahead and just, just I, my guys are just falling all over the place, and he gets another touchdown, so just got a little bit ugly, went back to the same play again, and he actually picks it off one more time, this I got the ball down uh, to the red zone, and he's able to go and take it all the way to the house, so two times in a row, I threw this route, and he actually picked it off twice against me, and it's one of those plays that you just go ahead and tack your opponent uh, underneath, so uh, coming down in the third quarter, he actually goes ahead and goes house against me with a return uh, kick uh, kickoff and just takes it uh, takes it house. So this game has gotten ugly. I'm in a situation where I'm just like, uh, you know, I, I pretty much have, have been mentally defeated by this guy because when he down three scores going in here, right here, go back to the play that he picked me off twice and wants to go ahead and take a house play. Um, and then actually in a third and goal type of, type of situation, we've gone ahead and been to the back of the end zone. But my guy actually stepped out of bounds, so <laughs> it didn't convert. So fourth and goal, I actually do a nice little drag route with uh, basically sail concept, and I come up short. So ball's down to the one-yard line. You could see he moved the ball <clears throat> down the field against me. And uh, right here actually dots me up for a touchdown in the middle of the field. So I literally just got completely destroyed by this guy. I had no answer for his offense. So jumped into the third game here uh, with the Cowboys. <clears throat> and, uh, you know, occasionally you, you get matched up with people with their cupcakes. Uh, the last two guys just ate me up. And I, I was ex play experimenting with my playbook, going into different formations, trying different um, passing concepts. Passing concepts only work as well as you can convert it. So I want to show you something. Cover four palms. 
Um, I hope in Madden 20 they actually fix the cover four uh, uh, coverages because cover four, cover four palms, unless it's a cover four drop, p these palms plays are, are broken. So I was actually testing things out. I noticed that uh, this this particular route off to the right side, which is going to be real, Ridley in a slot, will not get covered in a palms cover four type look. So watch, look at us, wide open, easy touchdown, one play touchdown. It's only the second play of the game. And I'm able to go ahead and dot him up for a score. And based on my um, basically in it, you're just terrible offense. I, was, I needed to take whatever points I can get. So this guy could not get his running game going. I'm using a lot of 52 defenses again. I mean, he actually goes ahead and miss throws the ball right there. He got rid of it a little bit too quick. Uh, and once again, pressure comes in. I'm able to go ahead and force him, I think, uh, to, to punt the ball. No, actually goes for it. Fourth and 20. Just go do all our coverage. And he throws it right to my defender. I go ahead and pick it off. Probably would have been better if I didn't pick it off because I get tackled short of where he was at. Uh, but that puts me in a situation where I can go and score. So I hit him with this little spot route play. I love this play. That's a, it's a very annoying play. Come back uh, to the slot option and uh, basically hit the little drag route, uh, take that up, um, and then um, back to this play. I forgot the name of this play, but I basically have that, that wide receiver on the back end side that I can hit. And when you got a Julio Jones in the back of the end zone, he's going to keep his feet in and you're going to actually get a touchdown. So up uh, basically 14 to nothing against my opponent. He actually throws right to my defender. So this guy doesn't know how to attack the 52 defense like the previous guys I played against. Uh, so he was struggling with a third and 13 type of situation. And right here, uh, he there was multiple guys that are wide open. He missed everybody. So this guy definitely was a cupcake. He didn't really know what he was doing because he missed his reads. He had no progressions outside of maybe one or two receivers. And uh, that's you know basically someone that, that's not a very good player. So got a lucky break right there. Once, once again, going back uh, to slot option. I, I didn't like the drag route, but watch this. I get away with one right here. I actually throw to the back side right there and actually go ahead and get a completion. That that, that should have been um, a, legal, uh, a legal pass. Right here actually hits the, uh, the, the corner route, gets some pretty good animation with Ridley, get the ball down uh, to the 31. And right here is just a, a mesh concept. And um, I didn't have my reads down right here, so he actually gets a block should tackle uh, a sack right there because I just I didn't make my progressions correctly. But you can see, once again, cover four palms. So uh, I'm thinking this guy's going to go back to that coverage to, again and watch. I'm going to be looking for Ridley for a touchdown. And watch this. He actually takes covers Ridley. So on the back end side, my running back is at a wheel, wheel route is actually wide open. So the coverage is for that particular the, the, the cover two coverages are just atrocious really not that good at all so right here i'm looking for the for the the back end of the end zone and i think i caught that did i catch it no i didn't catch it so this time i, I learned from the previous game i played and actually instead i did a slant opposed to a drag so i get a little bit more depth in the back of the end zone and i'm able to score again so um uh, up 21 to nothing against this guy going uh, you know only a couple minutes left he goes in a strong close this guy did not know how to run so strong close correctly he had no reads down it's like he, he his, his reads were the dude flats and basically pressure comes in because he's sending his guys out he didn't have he didn't know how to go ahead and make any kind of pass coverages fourth and 17 type of situation i think i switched into just a cover three shell i believe i know i dropped people but no I actually stayed with the blitz because he wasn't reacting to it correctly right here and he throws it right back to me and I think that is it. I think he was done though after that. I think he wanted to play. So once again, guys, I really appreciate the support. I've got a couple more game plays I'll be posting shortly that are going to be running with this run-heavy play and uh, run-heavy set. And I'll be um, showing you some more different types of breakdowns and do more formations out of this this for, this uh, playbook. So thanks for your support, guys. And until next time.